Let's talk to Steve Woodcock. He's a trader, a man who's traded foreign exchange markets for an excess of 30 years, and I'm probably out by a big figure there. Steve, very good morning to you. Thanks very much for right, having Let's talk about sterling. The great British pound, is it great at the moment? Uh, no, not great at the moment. Obviously, has found some support where it should do, 132, 132 and a half. It's quite funny, actually. I, I've uh, happened to note, notice this morning that quite a few people, it's popped back, back above 133, and there's people talking now that it's it's based and and that's it. And the bounces back up and it's going. It's just had a little bit of a bounce from its proper support. That's where it should have bounced from. And uh, there's possibility it could go to 134 and a half from here, maybe 135. But I'd still, you know, like I've said, coming on, on here for probably the last three or four months, sterling is going to remain under pressure. Um, I, I think 130 is fair value for sterling at the moment, all things considered. Um, but uh, but yeah, it, it's playing the range is still. It, it's traded very well. We've had a general dollar move, haven't we, over the last yep. well, and a euro move, big euro move since I last came on uh, when we talked about you know, well, I said when we went to one twenty six, you know, this is the proper area. This is where we see it do some work, see what happens from here. And sure enough, we've come off. I said last time I was on, I said we haven't got support until we come down to fifteen and a half or fourteen forty is the big number. Um, we've come, you know, come down away uh, into the one fifteens. Yep. So uh, it, it, you know, we've we've come off five or six big figures since I was last year. Um, but uh, I think we've, you know, the euro move has affected obviously euro sterling quite a bit. Um, and I think uh, we, there's more of the same to come. To be quite honest with you, I think the dollar's having a nice little pullback um, because we've had a, you know, a few weeks of strength from the dollar. Um, I think we're just seeing the first pullback. I, I, I'm of the thought that the dollar goes higher throughout the year. Um, obviously, we're data dependent and yep. all things being uh, being equal. But uh, but no, I sterling for me. I think we're towards the bottom end of the range, one thirty two, one thirty two fifty. But I, I think we're probably around those levels. You'll 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 be long, but anything above one thirty four. For the moment, for the time being, You'd be sure. is a sell. It's a, it's a new little small range, I think. Understood. In terms of the euro dollar, what are the, the really big levels? Well, there? like I say, euro dollar, the big level for me downside is, I mean, we went to one, I think we went 115, mid 115s. Um, 11440 is very important for me. Um, but there's a, you know, we where we've been and where we are at the moment, we're just above 117, or we were 117, 05, 10 when I came out. Um, and uh, there's possibilities. We could see 11860, maybe one towards 120 again, that 11965, maybe something like that. Um, but I think with the, um, the political sort of situation in Italy, Spain, um, you know, populist politics is still yep. uh, alive and kicking. Um, I think the euro may be going to, you know, come through a bit of a rough time now. Uh, which is no surprise to me. We, you know, we we know the situation out there. We know what's going on in Europe as far as unemployment. All right, we're getting CPI through and stuff like that, which is okay and uh, retail sales and stuff. But but you know, it's the unemployment which is the big problem out there, and, yeah. and a lot of social unrest. So I think we're in for maybe a, a little bit of a, a bad spell for the euro. And I, I think it's quite interesting actually. I've been reading quite a few articles where. The Germans are, uh, are, if you like, trying to already trying to guide Europe and 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 be uh, be the Godfather basically. And, uh, okay, just before we wrap up, dollar yen. Uh, dollar yen. Last time I was on, we one were one ten and a half. Yeah, I said one ten and a half. Very important. We broke the stops through one ten and a half. Went up to one eleven forty, another important level. Uh, and we've since pulled back nearly three big figures. Uh, we're currently or one oh one oh eight eighty when I came out. Um, we're towards the bottom end of the range. I like the price action in dollar yen. I like the way that when we've come off this time, it's just a steady sell, okay? And like I say, I think we're seeing a general dollar pullback. Um, I, I like, I, li I still like dollar yen, um, and I, I, I'm, I'm long a dollar yen, um, and uh, I, I think we see higher levels. It will go on and break up through that one twelve fifty, which. Um, uh, which is quite important. Again, once we can make 11050, if you like, a solid base, if we go that way, um, then it's onward and upward. But for the moment, there's a range. The range is 111.5, 108.30, something like that at the moment. Um, and we're towards the bottom end at the moment. 
if anything, be small long. Um, stops at the moment, if you're short-term traders, stops are below 108, uh, 107.90, something like that. Um, you know, look for maybe trading towards 110 and have a look at what it does there. But like I said, I think at 110.50, 111.50, important area, a clean break of that area, then uh, we, we go towards 120 and one. Well, you know, I think it's going much, much higher. Um, but uh, let, let's see how we go. It sounds a very bullish call to me, young Stephen. And we've seen over the years, okay, invariably you get it more right than wrong. That's Stephen Woodcock. Thank you.